Mariano Di Fiore, so I don't make a mistake here. Uh, let's see, that's the Decidua basalis where it's dense, and then when it opens up, that's layers called the Corian frondosum. I just can't remember. I think those are called villi of the Corian frondosum, and these are uterine glands in the Decidua basalis, but could be the other way around. Let me see the. Uh, I'm going to say those are uh, uterine glands in the decidua basalis. Let me just find that in here. The uh, placenta. It came from the placenta. Probably what I said is correct. I haven't looked at that in a year. And I always get those mixed up. Uh, don't forget we have a full day to play with this again. And I think it's important, placenta 236, to at least get it up on the overhead today. That's fine. You know, these pictures look exactly like what we have. Okay. Uterine glands are in the, uh, just what I said, the sigma basalis, and the villi are in the other, as what I said was correct. Let me show you that again. If it was test day, and I put the pointer right here, you have to be able to say, name the structure, uterine gland. Name the layer, decidua basalis. Name the organ or structure of the body it came from, placenta. How do you know the difference between that layer, decidua basalis, that's the outer layer, and the inner layer, corian frondosum? See how it loosens up? See how it's a lot airier? So in the Corian frondosum, you no longer call these uterine glands, you call them villi. These are, name the structure villus, name the layer Corian frondosum, and again, name the organ placenta. It takes a little time and experience to, to get comfortable 